What's up guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com and today we're talking about the road trip known as El Camino Real which connects the 21 California missions. The missions are a fascinating and polarizing part of California history, but they are some of the oldest places that you can see in the entire state. If you want to see a highlight video from when I went and visited all of them, you can check it out right here or we're going to talk about the 10 best things to see at the California mission in this video. Let's do it. Recommendation number one are the gardens and the bell tower at Mission San Diego de Acala. The mission in San Diego is the first that you'd visit if you're doing all of the missions from the southern portion of the state. And the gardens there are complete with a small brick walking path, sculptures, and well manicured plants. This is one of my favorite gardens in all of the California missions and the bell tower on the south side of the garden is beautiful as well. Recommendation number two is the chapel in Mission San Luis Rey de Francia in Oceanside. While most of the missions have a traditional chapel which is just one long rectangular building, the chapel here is laid out like a cross from above with a long entryway and three separate altars in the front. It's one of the most striking chapels at any of the California missions. Also be sure to head inside the mission itself as there's a great museum with lots of artifacts from the area. Recommendation number three is Mission San Juan Capistrano. Pretty much everything at this mission could be on the list, from the ornate chapel and the courtyards to the swallows that come stay at this mission each year. But my favorite part is the old walls from the Great Stone Church. These walls made up the original chapel of the museum from the late 1700s and while they're ruins now, it's still pretty amazing to be able to walk around and see them as you don't see things from the 1700s very often in California. Recommendation number four is the wine cellar and the Madonna room at Mission San Fernando Rey de España in Mission Hills. Wine was a really popular export in early California, but the wine cellar at Mission San Fernando was the only one I saw during my time visiting the missions. It's pretty crazy to walk down into an old cellar and see the dusty wine barrels sitting right there in front of you. Also, this is the mission where the Madonna room is, which is a really popular room filled with statues of Mary, the mother of Jesus. They have a ton in this small room and it's a popular attraction at the mission. Recommendation number five is the facade and the massive fig tree at Mission Santa Barbara. This is another mission which has a bunch of amazing things to see and it's known as the queen of the missions. The first of my two favorite spots is the chapel facade which has a pastel pink color and has been conserved really well. The second thing you have to see is the massive fig tree in the garden. This tree was planted in the late 1800s and it's gigantic. You can walk all around it and it shades pretty much the entire cemetery. Recommendation number six is La Purissima Concepcion in Lompoc. I don't have a specific thing I recommend here as the mission is run by the state park system and it's one of the best to visit in order to see what life was like at the California missions. The mission grounds have been meticulously restored with many of the rooms completely furnished and live animals that live on the property. You're going to want a good amount of time to wander around and explore this one. Recommendation number seven is the bell tower at Mission San Miguel Archangel. The mission in San Miguel is one of my favorites. You're not allowed to see a lot of the mission, but what you can see looks like what you'd expect old ruins to look like. Complete with cracks in the walls, dust, and old antiques, it's a lot of fun to walk through and explore the area. The highlight though is the old bell tower that sits out by the entrance. This tower was built in the mid-1900s, so it's not original, but it's still really cool to see. Recommendation number eight is the chapel at Mission San Carlos Borromeo de Carmelo. Located in Carmel and the only mission that the Pope himself has visited, the chapel in this mission is unlike any of the others. While most have the traditional square roof, the ceiling here is circular, and the high ceilings and architecture make it a sight to behold. This is also where Father Sarah, who started many of the missions, was buried. Recommendation number nine is the cemetery and chapel at Mission San Francisco de Assis. The San Francisco mission is especially interesting because it sits right next to a more modern church and you get to see the stark differences between the two. The chapel here is painted with a stripe roof pattern which makes it interesting to see and is especially cool for photography. The cemetery and the gardens located in the back have well manicured plants as well as many statues and sculptures around the grave sites. It's interesting to be standing in the heart of San Francisco and see sites like this. 
My last recommendation is the northernmost mission located in Sonoma known as Mission San Francisco Solano. This mission is also run by the state park system and it's pretty small, but the beautiful orange flowers that sit outside the chapel and the sign that designate the end of your time on the El Camino Real Trail are both worth seeing. This mission is also in the heart of Old Town Sonoma. It's a fun area to walk around with a large square courtyard and a lot of other interesting pieces of history that you can see while you're there. So that's it, my 10 favorite spots at the California missions. Be sure to let me know if I left off one of your favorites in the comments. And if you have suggestions for future lists, leave those in the comments as well. For more information on all of the missions, check out CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. We'll see you guys next week.